Welcome to 5 Minute School and in this video I want to talk about hair which is a protein filament, a modified type of keratin and it's produced by the hair matrix in the dermis. Now there's three types of hair in humans. The first one is called lanugo hair and this is what covers the fetus in the womb and it's normally shed before birth. This type of hair is long and it's silky in appearance. We also have vellus hair and this is what covers the whole body apart from the palms and the soles. This type of hair is short, fine, and it's non-pigmented. And then we have terminal hair, and this is the hair at the eyebrows, eyelashes, and scalp up until puberty. And after puberty, we have the growth of secondary terminal hair, which develops in the armpits, the pubic region, and the chest, especially in men in response to androgen hormones. Terminal hair is more coarse than vellus hair, and it's usually darker and longer. Now, in terms of hair growth, there are three phases in the hair cycle. And the hair follicle is quite unique in the sense that it grows in cycles. So we have phase one, which is called anagen. And this is a period of active growth, which usually lasts about a thousand days. Hair normally grows about one centimeter a month in this phase. We then have the catagen phase, and this is a transitional phase where the hair follicle shrinks and it gets pushed upwards. This phase lasts about 10 days. We then have the telogen phase, and this is a resting phase, which lasts about 100 days. At this point, the hair is just stable and not doing anything, and it's just maintaining its function, but at some point, it's going to break free and then shed. A new hair will grow in its position, and the hair cycle will repeat. At any time, around 10% of the hairs on the body are in this telogen phase at any time. Hair follicles are quite sensitive to radiotherapy, which increases the ratio of hairs in this telogen phase, which results in shedding.